Welcome back, everybody. Oh my goodness, here it is, April 2020, amid the COVID-19 virus. Here we are, episode 47. All this downtime had some free time on our hands, so decided to drag out some old footage from last fall and actually finally turn it into the episode that it was intended to be. What you're about to see in this one is footage that was shot in October of 2019. We did a very late fall outing, the only outing we did in 2019, to be honest. If you'll notice, there was nothing new from the summer of 2019. Yeah, things didn't go so well last summer. The whole team, everyone just couldn't get schedules together, too darn busy. But we did decide to go out one time, got a few of us together, got to record this one. It's been sitting shelved all these months. Uh, never got to editing, but here it is now. So we're back to the Crow's Nest gold mine area, which uh, if you go back to episode 30, that was the last time we were there. We had some unfinished business last time we were there, had to leave it behind. Uh, we always vowed to come back and we actually finally did. Looking down into those deep, dark, open cuts, we could see openings and uh, dark holes that went somewhere but we couldn't safely traverse the, uh, the vertical sides of those uh, open cuts and make it down in there. So this time we returned prepared, task at hand with uh, appropriate climbing gear, rope work to go down and uh, make our way into these areas that we couldn't reach under normal means. So what you're about to see is our climb down into the cuts and to finally untie ourselves and go roaming and see what we actually find down there. There was two particular spots that were in question, and we are investigating both in this visit. As usual, we'll show drawings to try and illustrate best we can what you're looking at. So let's exit the commentary here and get to the actual footage on the ground. And we welcome you all back to the Crow's Nest Gold Mine in Guysboro County, Nova Scotia. So here we are back at Crow's Nest. Can you believe it? This familiar spot, this elusive spot that was uh, a chink in our armor two, three years ago when we were here. You might remember we were laying in this white moss. Here's the sign as we left it. Covered two years of forest dander. And over this ledge is why we're here. The elusive hole at the bottom of the open cut that uh, we have to get into today. This is what we're dealing with. This wonderful hole that goes down into workings that may or may not be there. It may just end right there. It may actually go into more tunneling and stopes down there. But the boys are further here to the right and uh, they are going to be working on some ropes so we can harness down into there and drop into that hole safely. And that's what we're doing. So better safe than sorry. We're rigging this today with, uh, with some rope work. Gonna make sure that we do this right. And wearing harnesses and so on. We don't wanna slip, fall, get trapped, break a leg or an ankle. So this is where the, uh, the tethering begins on a nice strong tree and a nice climbing rope. Here at the far end of one of the crow's nest cuts is the first elusive opening that we saw two, three years ago. If you look down in there, we need to get down to there. Again, probably six, seven stories down, vertical sides sheer rock faces, but we think we have a chance over here to the left to get down there with some ropes and harnesses. So our first soldier's heading down and he's laying the rope as he goes so we can follow him on it in a minute. So he's headed down in there ahead of us to let us know if it's even worth doing all this. Wouldn't it be funny if it just went down in there and tucked into the rock and went for five feet and it's done? Or 
Maybe there's a big ballroom down in there. Maybe there's more tunnels. So the report back is there is a little something something to see. It's not a huge expanse of stuff down there, but there's sort of a left-hand passage we're being told and a little bit more of a right-hand passage. But a lot of collapse, so we're going to go down and check it out because, damn it, I've been wondering for two, three years what's down in that hole and I want to frickin' see it. So <laughs> we're going down. Second soldier is heading down, and I will be following him next. All right, I am down. It is a lot crazier than it looks when you get down here. Um, we are very deep from the surface, actually. There's my little rope coming down, and I am on the ground. Whew! But uh, it's going to be a trek to get out of here, but we'll work on that when we get finished. But we need to turn around here and have a look into the main hole that we're in, and it goes down there deep. This is what it looks like, what you couldn't see from the top of the cut. It does head down that way to the left, much deeper, and to the right. And then all of this in the middle is just collapse that's come down over the years. Okay, I'm... Almost halfway down now. We're gonna scrabble our way down this rock and have a peek. And whatever they were doing down in here, this just looks like sheer collapse because it's a mess. <laughs> this all couldn't have come down from the walls and the surface, so it looks like there's been failure. And just looking up here into the ceiling, you can see the, uh, the bright white veins of quartz they were cutting into and following. There's still some here in the ceiling. They must have wanted to come down in here deep and keep following it, because it does get quite big over there, right in the center of the screen. All right, down here at the very bottom, this cut does start going back up, if you can imagine. It's right up there. And at the very top, there's a glint of daylight. Here, I'll take the light away. And that's all covered somewhere up there in the forest floor. And all of this opening is underneath it. And who would know? <laughs> so just to give a cool point of view from down here at the bottom, here's how deep we are from the surface. There's the boys down the hole where we rope down. Okay, we'll pan down and here we are going, looking to the right as we came down the first time. And this goes to this area here that has a big stall across it, a big log holding up that edge there. Let's go down and have a look. Okay, I'm basically down here at the bottom on this side. Here's the stall. And the cut just kind of ends right there. It looks like a lot of collapse came down, filled it all in. It may have went in there further at one time in its life, but that is it. So that's what's at the bottom of the mystery hole here at the bottom of the crow's nest cut. I guess we're gonna try the next one. We gotta get out of here first. We are all out of that monstrosity of a hole and we are back up at the precipice here to Go down into this one. So here he goes. He's down.
So he's going to take the flashlight and go in and have a peek and report to us. There's stalls. There's stalls. Um, so the cut's going down vertical and there's, there's some timbers going across. So it drops off. And this big rock here was the ceiling. And here we are. Oh my God. Now what we've come into is a really strange cut that keeps going down. It's, uh, it's hard to see in there, but I'm going to get up closer so you can. In from the fellas, this is what we're dealing with. The cut goes way down in there and it goes way down there. Can you shine your light down there on those vertical pieces of wood? Yeah, in the center of the screen, there's like a w wall of wood or a, p it was a platform that's been collapsed by rock. Little baby drift cut out. We can't really tell if it goes anywhere, but I mean, to the left or right. I can see the right wall, I guess, but that's a mystery. But here's the stall work. And it goes way down in there. And as far as we can tell, that platform made of logs in the middle of the screen is just collapsed down from above and it's just tipped vertical. It's not really a wall or anything that we can tell from here. We can see through it and see the floor, so. Now, as we turned around and we're on our way out, we were noticing there's like these cracks in the wall that you can see into like other areas. <laughs> And behind these walls, is it possible? Like we noticed there's a hole in the wall up here. Like see these holes in the wall? Like, and there's one here. Like I can see wood in that one. But let's get out a pin light and take a peek in these. Okay, I've stuck the camera lens in the hole and what we're discovering, we looked in there with our eyes, it's gonna be really hard to photograph this, but these are electrical wires, folks. <laughs> and inside this wall is like a, a tunnel. And, oh my God, there's no way to really shoot this probably, but there are, there's crib work and stalls. And if I could look up, I can't point the camera up that way, but in this tunnel, there's, um, there's actually like a platform up above made of uh, well-preserved logs. Cause I, they wouldn't even get any weathering in there or anything like out here. And then these electrical wires are hanging off them. It's down here on the floor. There's Again, this is this, on the floor. Yeah, th it's really hard to uh, to photograph it properly. Like I'm looking at it in the viewfinder to try and see what footage I'm getting, and it sucks. But it's weird. Is that there's literally another tunnel or or drift or cut behind this wall. Like literally behind this. Uh, three or four inches of rock. If we had a sledgehammer, we could bash through here just and make more of this hole. It's crazy. Okay, looking back at this wall, it's the left wall going into the cut. The, uh, there's that hole, the little one above it. But if you peek through there, about six, eight inches through that wall, this whole wall has a hollow behind it, a whole nother cut with uh, cribbing and uh, stalls in there and, and platforms all the way up and down. I don't know how they got in there. There must have been a way and there's that electrical wire in there. So a mystery. If we only had a sledgehammer to bash through this wall, another mystery left to Crow's Nest. Anyway, we do have to depart. So we're climbing out of this hole and heading out. So see you up top. All right, we're out and we've got to head home. A lot of rope work, so it took a while. Burned up a whole afternoon, but we're gonna head back to the vehicle and come back maybe next year. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye. Now, just before we roll credits, I wanna come back in here with a little brief commentary before we go. It so happens that on our way out that day, heading back to civilization, we had all the cameras packed up and all the ropes packed up and we were just humping it and we decided on the way out to check one little thing by going in one of the previous uh, adits that we had explored before and just check some things, mainly to see if anything had changed. 
but we decided to check something once we were in there. We never thought the first time, and we ended up uh, cracking open an egg that took us underground for another hour. <laughs> Um, of course, none of it was recorded. Um, we were trying to do it quick. The sun was going down. But again, we have now have to vow that we have to go back to actually fully explore this, um, this area that we didn't shoot whatsoever. But it was probably one of the biggest hidden surprises up there in Crow's Nest. There was still more stuff under that ground that uh, probably hasn't seen the light of day or human eyes in uh, many decades, if not a century, since the place was closed up. I don't think anyone would have decided to go peeking where we went. But you'll see, because we have to go back again. So another future episode uh, must be done for that one, at, at the very least. So just letting you know that there's some still unfinished business at Crow's Nest. Oh, my goodness, that place. Um, Crow's Nest gold mine. Never... Uh, never ends up disappointing. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.